So, how might we make Melbourne a city where everyone can experience a good day? By the time we end this workshop, we'll be about two hours. In that time, about 30 people, we can expect, will have passed away, sorry, died in Australia. So, in that time that us 30 people have been thinking and talking about it, it's already happening at such a rate, and that rate is only going to increase, and that's kind of compelled us to come here um, and design with our community of people in Melbourne for Melbourne being a much better, deathable city in 2050. It's important that people who are approaching death are able to, to be in public spaces and enjoy the things that Melbourne is so famed for. So right here we have a picture of our uh, death pods, which are fully customizable. Major death coach, who is basically guiding you through the death process. The Minister for Death announces funding and opens new community conversation hubs to launch Melbourne Death Week 2025. Uh, so that's him opening the uh, new community hub. He's supported by our beloved now uh, television character from The Smart Ways to Die. Um. <laughs> we have learned from the mistakes made about ageing and we're doing dying a new way. Melbourne has become somewhat the bucket list city. <laughs> because of um, strategic policy changes that has enabled technology to connect cities and implement widespread changes within healthcare models as well as prevention programs in the education system. Um, on top of all of that, um, the best part about it is it's an economically viable model. We are creating jobs for the people who live with us. We're making things better for those who are aging and dying with us. <laughs>